All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is still the first coming to you live from the Abuja Studios of Kaftan Television. And like I promised, we've now been joined by a guest. His name is Hassan Sadawna. Uh, he's a public affairs analyst. Together, we shall be taking a look at the headlines I read out to you earlier. And this is also a reminder that our phone lines are now open for you to call and join us on the program. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much for having me, Sandra. It's always amazing to have you join us here. So let's get into the business of the day. And I'm going to start with this headline from the Nigerian Tribune this morning that says, ECOWAS slams more sanctions on Niger Republic. And that's a page three read. And there are more headlines to that says, Tinubu directs CBN <coughs> to impose financial uh, penalties on individuals, entities linked to Christ, and lift sanctions on Niger and dialogue with Nigerians. That's according to the ACF Council Regional Body. Military junta refuses ECOWAS AU UN delegation entry. How do you react to all of these headlines? Uh, Sandra, once again, good morning. Uh, my reaction is not far from any other individual in the country or citizen that has been following the footsteps of what is going on in Niger Republic. Uh, the ECOWAS uh, sang, uh, putting more sanctions uh, to down for uh, to Niger republics, especially the citizens who happen to have a link with the coup d'état mm. personnel. I think it is a, a plus to the uh, ECOWAS and the entire plans to uh, stop the juntas. So what am I trying to say here is that uh, only uh, this type of uh, actions we're mm. going to give a headway mm. in trying to bring a sanity to what happened in Niger. But uh, I am not uh, a supporter of uh, using of full force, that is military arsenals to remove them in whatever reasons. Mm. Because this is their country and they can have, a, they have a right to decide and on the side. But uh, for the ACF, that is the Arewa Consultative Forum mm. stance of not attacking for the uh, not to attack or Tinubu not to attack the uh, yeah. Niger Republic. Mm. Uh, what I want to tell them here is that uh, the Arewa Consultative Forum, uh, they are an organization of uh, northern elders who felt they have a right to contribute. But let me tell you. Uh, a one thing that I hate mostly is that when people are trying to make things look like a personal problem, yes, which is not. Uh, Tinubu is the chairman of ECOWAS, that is Economic Committee of West African, African State. Co yes, so he is not talking in person. Mm. So, but uh, what is happening? The Nigerian citizens are trying to make it look like. Uh, Tinubu uh, is taking his true but I'm going to say that that's. I think that's one of the issues. Maybe people don't actually forget. Or they f they they don't understand that he's not acting as president of Nigeria. That is he's now acting as the chairman, of, chairman of ECOWAS. Yes. So I have tried to I have been having an issue with a lot of people like this. You find out that uh, uh, Tinubu is a, a chairperson of this uh, uh, ECOWAS, Sidao, and he has a uh, he emerged the uh, mantle of leadership just recently. So I had even one of these uh, public analysts who is saying that Tinubu, by his way to go and uh, become a chairman of ECOWAS without raising the situation of the West African countries. Mm. But it is a tenure given to Nigeria, so he mm. can't deny it. Just because, he's, uh, beca because he just came as a new president mm. does not deter him to. He is not only person that will go to work as a chairman. He has a lieutenant that will go to assist him at an other uh, president of other state of the uh, 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 sub-Saharan region. Mm. So what am I trying to say here is that Niger Republic is part of this. And what am I saying is that what is good for the geese is also good for the Ganda. So what we are trying to avoid or what the African countries are trying to, West African countries are trying to stop is the coup d'etat that is going on and on. Uh, it is in uh, ha it happens in uh, uh, Mali, in Burkina Faso. I think it's called uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, and uh, somehow in Guinea Conakry. Mm. So uh, my advice is this: 
if you allow these things to continue happening, we are not helping matters in the uh, uh, sub-Saharan uh, region. The reason behind, behind is that the best military government, uh, 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 the worst uh, 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 civilian government is better than the best military government mm -hmm. in any country in the history. But there are cases where they are having this coup d'etat these days. is having a kind of thinking of liberalization. Thinking of liberalization is this, you know, we that were colonized under the United Kingdom, that is the British, mm. we are having more right and independence compared to the Francophone speaking countries who were colonized by the oh. France, their masters. So there are some agreement that took place before they get an independence, mm. whereby their money will going to be uh, controlled by the Central Bank of uh, France and whatever they get, they are keeping it there either for, uh, uh, that is for reserve and whatever. And if you are coming to uh, uh, take your money, you are only entitled to only half of the money that you have contributed. So I think there is no uh, indep full independence there. Then secondly, there are some uh, 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 clause in the laws whereby you cannot engage into war or other type of things mm. that are very, very many in the uh, in the francophone speaking countries which now they became of age they are so wiser than before mm. so they felt that they have been dehumanized they have been uh, a catch they are living in post-colonial uh, uh, what they call it uh, 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 colonization again so they want to get out of if you look at mali recently they have opted out of uh, uh, english uh, french speaking okay. countries now french is not uh, an no, official language, language in their country yeah. when you go to uh, burkina faso you can see what is happening the young captain when you go to Cote d'Ivoire, you see what is happening and this is happening sometimes at the cost of our so-called democratic leaders we have a government of democracy for example in Cote d'Ivoire, mm. where was uh, this person was the president of that country uh, lawrence bago when Lawrence Bago wanted to, uh, uh, after election, Lauren, uh, Alassane Ouattara succeeded him or won the election, he tried to deny the, uh, uh, Lawrence, uh, Alassane Ouattara. Mm. But something came around and he was removed. You understand? Uh, he was taken by the United Nations and whatever uh, in conjunction of, uh, with the ECOWAS. But later in the day, the same person that people fought for his cause to be there because of the democracy tenet, I want to assure you that he wanted to go for the third time. Which type of people we have in yeah, Africa? Yeah. This is the problem where the junta's or the military personnel are coming. Look at Cameroon. Cameroon, the president is there for almost 40 years. Mm. In, uh, he is not even the, talking. He is not, not healthy. Anything, yeah. He is there in the France staying. His son is the one almost doing. When you go to Central Africa, uh, sorry, Gabon, mm. Umar Bongo, Umar Bongo served for almost 40 years. And now he, after he have left, uh, his son took over. So what we are trying to say is that, is that a democracy? If you look at recently before uh, the last president left, the former prime minister of uh, uh, England, that is Boris Johnson, he was asking uh, 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 President Buhari then that, are you interested in third time? Yeah. He want to vote him so that if he agreed, the next thing that we could be now by in the war or in a, a serious crisis. Mm. And that is where people are falling into their booby traps. And the same people will be talking that they need democracy and when the democracy is uh, going on they don't call these people to attention and the foolishness of some of our leaders with uh, due respect i'm very sorry to use this word they are too selfish self-centered minded they don't think in vast what will be the consequences yes. of their doing mm. so the juntas are having a very fast approach but unlike what is happening in niger the president of uh, Niger, uh, Mohamed Bazoum, he is one of the president that came in amid of hatred. But because he is a, a leader that lead from the front, I want to tell you that there he 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 moved their GDP to with about 11.1 within two years. In the uh, 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 perception or anticipation by 2024, mm. the uh, uh, Niger GDP will mm. move to 12.3, which will be the first thing in a ki first kind of th uh, uh, this in the history of uh, uh, developing countries in the world as a to second to the last most poorest country in the global. But the person that came in, if you know their road down to border of uh, Benin Republic, Malabil, mm. they were their road were very tattered and mm. this man came he has constructed over 100 roads within two years now 
and it's their school you know these uh, 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 touch uh, 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 houses mm. that is what uh, their school look like this man came in and built in their uh, schools that means he's improving education when you look at uh, their security uh, uh, formation before he uh, 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 he came in during the Muhammad Yusuf uh, stewardship there was serious uh, security challenge mm. like even uh, you can compare it with uh, some of their state like uh, in Difa and Zinder like that of uh, Borno state and then but when this man came he bring it to the minimal point and at the same time this is somebody who said that he, he will going to liberate the people of uh, what do we call it uh, 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 Niger Republic yeah. from using for uh, uh, so far they will going to have their money is very soon they will have their money and their central bank mm. that is what Mali did most this uh, most of this type of uh, revolution doesn't occur unless with the juntas so but for him speaking and be telling it publicly people uh, may, people are trying to uh, 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 think out that their uh, uh, colonial masters have mm -hmm. an edge because i can tell you this one of the country that is busy uh, one of these people were asked in the france that he have topple over 40 something president in the world and he killed about 29 of them and he's still alive nobody can challenge him because he fell he is more a first class citizen than any yeah, other so. any other that wall especially the africans they see us as a zombies that is the apps that mm. they are talking about and okay. i feel that is of edge our people to think twice and bring more sanity to their uh, leadership so what you're trying to say if i got you correctly is that for instance, what is happening in the Nigerian Republic has some in kind of international backing. That's so true. That is true. If you look at it very well, because the man has been accusing their uh, uh, colonial master, mm. that is France, uh, France, that they have been uh, dominating them. Let me tell you, the, level, the number of uranium that they are exporting, mm. they are taking 80-20. And when he came, he said, no, Nigeria Republic will take 60 and they will take 40 their petroleum all those type of things it was a kind of uh, a, a, i told you a post-slavery colonization okay. in what the, a, what is happening in francophone and especially in niger and they have a president that come to a, 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 a stand family to make sure that he have supported these people uh, his people he liberated his people he bring more uh, uh, fortunes into his country mm. and his people and people have enjoyed the dividends of democracy and that has made him to be a kind of someone that people loves generally in uh, 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 in Niger. Niger. Okay. But I want to tell you the juntas, uh, when you are seeing people uh, protesting that uh, they should uh, allow them, it is their choice. Quite it is their choice. But uh, to sponsor uh, 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 an undesirable element to be on the street is nothing in Africa. Alright, we'll have a caller on the line. Oh, and I think we, uh, we lost that call. Okay, let me take you back to one of the statements that you made uh, in the beginning mm. when you said you do not support uh, the ACF's moves to uh, or their call to lift off the sanctions. Yes. And I'm going to ask you that. Don't you think that this this is because um, some of the, some of the things affect them directly? Because this headline, according to uh, the Punch, is saying that. Over 100,000 IDPs are stranded in Nigeria, and businesses have been grounded in Sokoto and Katsina states. But before we take that, I'm going to have to take this call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please turn down the volume of your TV set. Good morning. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Warren. Um, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Please go ahead and make your contributions. Yeah, I want to appreciate the uh, topic this morning.
selling the future of the children and their children's children, thinking that when they suck money outside the country for themselves and their family, they will be well off. But never knowing that in the country they are selling, they are selling themselves and their future office. So now people are getting away. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening to the people. The people are just there. They will promise to do this, do that. At the end of it, they will start the money to their pocket. Just imagine Nigeria here with the fighting life until the time of everything made up. When people are fighting their bed, they are busy losing their own. But today, people are still dropping. They are still telling us that we should be here. We should be here. We should be here. How do oh. you think the people will be here? Oh, they believe they cannot. Oh. So this thing will happen. Let them look into themselves and stop proving the country that are overthrowing. Mm. They should do that for their own definite uh, benefit. If they can restore sanity to their country, let it be. So oh. they, should, they, should, they should look into themselves and teach the leaders, the leaders that are doing something wrong. Let them gather together when they are doing something wrong before the junta come in to fashion them and deal with them so that they will leave the people well. Okay, thank you so much for your contributions on the program. Okay, okay. Uh, before we went on, uh, before we took that call, as I was saying, mm. the ACF calls for lifting of sanctions, mm. and you said you do not support that. But I'm going to add, like I said, don't you think they are calling for this lifting because it affects them personally, or it affects them more than it affects any other part of uh, Nigeria, taking into consideration that uh, the Nigerian Republic borders more uh, northern states? Okay, maybe those who, uh, the, your question is very good. But what am I trying to say here is that uh, I don't know how it affected the northerners or the uh, more northerners in the, by the borders. According to the punch, businesses have been grounded in Sokoto and Katsina borders. The b businesses that are grounded in Sokoto, most of our foods that we are mm. now starving they are the ones taking it to the niger republic yeah. and it is not the niger republic is their target most of these foods are being taken down to mali mm. uh, mali uh, burkina faso uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and other uh, uh, sub-saharan down mm. to even senegal and mauritania i want to tell you that there was a time around 1991 or two we went to uh, burkina faso i saw some of our uh, 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 trucks that are carrying foils from Nigeria to that uh, ends. Mm. So what am I trying to tell you? I knew some of my friends who are doing businesses. Down, to, they will go and buy this. Uh, what do they call it? Pepe. Mm. Down to Mali and others uh, for foreign business. But I, I want to uh, assure you that what the ACF are talking about is more a selfish interest than what we are expecting. They are those trying to personalize things to look as if. President Tinubu is doing this thing alone. Mm. No. I want to tell people that I am not happy with those who are kicking and insulting or attacking our president on this issue. The reason why I'm saying this is this. Uh, the president was able on his own capa uh, capacity mm. to call, uh, uh, to make a committee led by General Abdul Salami Aubakar, a former president and head of state of Nigeria. And the most uh, uh, what do we call this most uh, a leader in the Islamic affairs of Nigeria? That is the Sultan of Sokoto, mm. down to Niger Republic to meet with the juntas and the ousted uh, uh, president Bazoum. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. These people were uh, only stopped at the airport and attended by a young military officers. Let me tell you, a former president was a head of state about 24 or 25 years back, mm. or 27 years back. That is General Abdul Salami Aubakar. I believe his first son has uh, senior the, pre, the jun uh, head of juntas yeah, of Niger yeah. Republic. And then if there is anything before the uh, amalgamation, the Sultanate, Caliphacy have reached down to Niger Republic. And that the same with Kanem Borno. And that means make, uh, make it more brotherhood than anything. Yeah. The man is coming from the south. And he felt he is not a Hausa man. He, is, uh, he can't speak some of this language. The 52% of yeah. Niger Republic a Hausa, they can speak Hausa. They have to only 21% mm. of what the, a tribe called Zabarmawa. And then they have Fulanis of 8%. And they have the Arabs mm. of 6%. They have the what they call Buzu. They okay. have uh, uh, like an Arabs, mm. about 5%. Five, uh, uh, 5 and then they have the Kanuris of 4%. And other uh, 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 small tribes. So their state makes almost, what do we call it, a tribe. 
but I want to tell you that the one of the tribes that is uh, content 21% have more military and more uh, 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 people in the government. Yeah. But the houses and the others are more in politics and whatever in Niger Republic. Yeah. And the other tribes, they are the more business tycoon. These people are every go only good in this uh, 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 in the government. Yeah. So if so long you see a junta in Niger Republic, they are that very tribe, the 21%. Yeah. And they cannot able to win election in their country. And, and, the, and the majority tribes believe that they can uh, 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 what do we call it? Uh, 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 bring somebody from the Arab, the Fulanis, mm. or the Kanuris to be a president or their tribes. You understand what I'm saying? But they don't believe in this piece because the last person that contested the uh, presidency with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the current president mm. is from the, the uh, tribe that I'm talking about. They are more making it more tribal because 97 to 98 percent of the Nigerian republics, they are Muslims. Mm. It is not about religion. It is about tribal, uh, tribal mm -hmm. reasons. Mm -hmm. And when the uh, uh, Northern Iowa Consultative Forum are, are talking, they are talking about that the Nigerian government, Bola Tinibu as a president, want to attack uh, the military, uh, 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 the Niger Republic. Mm. The president of the, uh, 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 Sierra Leone sometimes but was removed and he was installed back by the Ibacha uh, military, if you remember, Tijani Kaba. Yeah. And I told you an example of uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire. And I told you, Yahya Jami, after he lost election, he wanted to refuse, but Buhari forced him. Obasanjo in Sao Tome and Prince Pei brought uh, bring back the former, uh, the ousted uh, 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 president by the Juntas. So it has been a history. Nobody will going to shoot a, a single, uh, what do we call it, bullet to the Nigerians' uh, 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 juntas. Mm. But I am telling you, the reason why you see it up to now, they are playing uh, 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 low-key uh, into uh, the removal of these juntas. It's mm. just because of one thing. And what is that? Up to now, the Bazoom is on the custody of the juntas. But had it been the president was out of that, their custody, mm. you could have seen wonders. Nobody will shoot a bullet in the uh, uh, in the border, mm. but they will be targeting the what do we call it, the uh, Niger uh, uh, State House. That is their presidential villa, and that is normally happen in in the whole global world. They can come even to Yemai and remove uh, the juntas. Even somebody in the uh, it's just like Abuja here. Mm. So they can come and remove our president. We that we are here, uh, 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 we don't know even something has happened. Okay. So this is it. Do people shouldn't talk like they are just coming from a different world. Mm. And the same Niger Republic, over 60% of their electricity is coming from, mm. uh, yeah. we are giving them. Yes. them. And then the, the over 70 to 80% of their food is mm. coming from Nigeria. And all these things. But can you imagine an elderly person like a, 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 a former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abu Bakar, a four-star went general, there went there and they sat him in, in the their, airport. In their own defense, they said they are not taking um, delegates now because of uh, security reasons. What is the delegate security? Let me tell you, if the, the Arewa Consultative Forum are fighting for the cause because these people are their brothers, let me tell you something. Well, they have, that means they have the right because I remember Th that. That's why I am now happy. The, the cash, uh, cashless cash policy. policy, they were trading in, in surfers. Yeah, in yeah, in because it is a border. But what am I trying to say is that, uh, 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 Sandra, one has to know that we must not personalize this thing. We want it to look, uh, we must believe that people are not patriotic. Do you remember that I have always talking about patriotism? The people of Niger Republic, they love Niger because they are patriotic. To their, uh, they are having patriotism. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 they, uh, they believe in their country. So the patriotism is not uh, 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 in question. Why not you? Are you exceptional? Are you not a human being? Mm. If somebody like uh, General Abdul Salami and Sultan will be placed in the airport, nobody will attend to them. And then you are happy? just because uh, you felt uh, that these people are very more closer to you when it happens in the cross river by uh, cameroon what happened the Amazonians. So, let us look at uh, the, the Benin republic it is having border with Lagos and some of the state there mm. are they because of that we should allow somebody like uh, sunday Igboho to go and they allowed him to go they arrested him uh, because he has uh, two passport this is what they did and that has given us an advantage of a uh, 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 shortening who was then uh, Sunday Boho. So what we are trying to say is that we don't have any other country than okay. Nigeria. Let us come together and salvage Nigeria. If these juntas of 25 million people in the whole, whole republic mm. who are not bigger than Kano State will come and show you that they love their country, what is wrong with you? Why are we getting it wrong? 
We and, must, and I also think it, that it doesn't wanna, matter here. What, we must think widely issues. and think mm -hmm. uh, 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 vehemently in our things, uh, uh, in our in and our and doing. Yes, I think our, uh, one of the issues also is the fact that lots of people do not understand that the president of Nigeria is doing this in the name of ECHO was not uh, as Niger as Nigerian president. Most people don't even remember that he is the chairman of ECHO was, and he. When they see ECOWAS sanctions, he is the chairman of ECOWAS. Not of course. So he not is, it went because I remember then, uh, as at last week or uh, two weeks ago, when a lot of people were talking about the army going to, to Niger to dance, and that. They, most people felt like it was a Nigeria to Niger <laughs> thing. It no, was no, no. in the name of ECOWAS. <laughs> and that is why you see yesterday, Ajuri Ngilale, the publicity and media essay to the president, yeah. came out and was trying to enlighten people. Or what it means is not about personal issue. Yes. But if the continuous people that are talking, mm. who yesterday the small sanctions fall into their st uh, uh, their footsteps, I think some of them are involved. Their money, uh, uh, they use their. Uh, uh, you know, you can't have a, a coup without financing it. Yes. So those who are financing it, most of them they are keeping the money in Nigerian accounts. Mm. So those who are traced w uh, to that uh, juntas. That is why the ECOWAS st stated that uh, this is what is happening. And since the money, most of the money are in Nigeria, the president of Nigeria is in, is in position to so put sanctions into those. That, and yes. that's why it happens. Uh, and luckily I for them, the president of try, Nigeria is also the chairman of ECOWAS. Uh, that is it, exactly. Now, more headlines on the nation this morning. Uh, it says federal government begins reform to end 20 trillion naira losses of uh, yearly task. And uh, this is uh, saying that Nigeria loses 20 trillion yearly to tax gaps, mm. and that's according to the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms. And he is saying that most uh, most of the taxes that we should be getting in a year as uh, a country, we lose about 20 trillion naira of that because some people do not pay or they do not pay through the right channels. How do you react to this? And there's also an attached headline to that that says, Tinubu said. Uh, set 18 percent three-year tax to gdp target for panel you see uh it's not only me it's almost everyone that knows the history of president ahmed bola tinibu mm. that is a reformer i have said it here sometimes but mm -hmm. he's the only reformer among these people that we know more than any other person so when they are talking about tax reforms, I am very, very much happy. First, you know, there are tax that are being multiple collection. Mm. But these reforms will bring single tax pay, mm. whereby uh, if one, uh, the ones it has been collected, those who, uh, uh, the, 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 the one that is going for the local government mm. will go for the local government. Those who are going for the state, will still go for the state and the one that for the federal government mm -hmm. the federal That's government perfect. will going to take mm -hmm. it but it this multiple taxation before even those community uh, 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 youth that fell they are very strong they can just um, create their own receipt with the name of yes this 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 and that mm. and they will be taxing you you are paying more than 10 uh, different taxes per shop in nigeria it is happening yes so these reforms is a welcome development to each and every Nigerian who knows why and how. And this will give it a very meaningful, it's just like the single treasury account that we had mm. that have reduced a lot of leakage of finance of uh, money in mm. this country. And the same tax, uh, this reform of taxation that will going to make it to be a single uh, 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 tax uh, uh, system that will going to yield more the target of these three years is talking about trillions of nearest in these trillions that they are mentioning i'm just telling you uh, uh, sandra nigeria will laugh and unless when we come together and put all our hands on deck then definitely we'll get it right but when we continue the blaming and the accusation with the name of uh, opposition mm. or with the name of i have not voted this the differences between a Nigerian government and any other developed countries who are getting it very right is that once the election have passed, there is over. Mm. They set a, a pedigree of governance. Once the governance is there, it is a duty of Sandara, Sadona, and everybody to come together 
and move that country ahead. When it is period uh, of election again, we go by our parties mm. and then we start the, uh, 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 the struggle to, uh, 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 to, uh, to succeed. Anyone that have succeeded mm. at the end of the day, they came back again to the table as a what? As a country so that the governance will be easy for the person that have succeed, uh, succeeded. But in this country, whenever you are doing, even if you are getting it 90% right, mm. some the, the 10% that stand you stand have lost, you some just people will come out the and be starting talking and be talking without knowing exactly what they are fighting. Mm. Then you will realize that it is not more an opposition. It is becoming a kind of hatred or a, what we call sadistic a sadist behavior whereby it will not going to give us what we want i was watching the one of the nominee ministerial nominee professor ali party mm. from bauchi who was the ceo of uh, gavi he was saying that he was trying to explain about the uh, immunization and the stand and the level of nigeria in this uh, 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 immunization mm. he said that so long we will go and collect money or we, somebody will support us we will not get it right we will continue talking and nothing will happen okay and the same thing with boson tunji he said something like that so long we will continue doing without creating and malagi mm. that uh, blueprint uh, something he said we must have a ways of creating and maintaining our belonging okay. and that will going to give us the positive result that we are looking for all right okay so uh, that what you're trying to say now is is that creation that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is trying to create. So yes. we should be hoping for a result. A very positive result. A result that will going to make you laugh. But you know, most of But then you know remember he said uh, that all he's asking from, from Nigerians is for Nigerians to mm. be more patient and endure a little bit more. But the problem now is that Nigerians are, do not even have the resources anymore to endure till whenever it's going to be that people will start laughing i don't know the resources that you are talking about but let me help you okay in my own way of understanding do you think some that are crying because they don't have what to eat do you think they are crying because they don't have an access to uh, their cars who tell you that in america or U uh, uk or anything you must drive a car but then even if you're not driving a car the means of transportation the means of the transportation is something that come up every country or anybody that have as if you see a successful ma uh, mm. person mm. there is a history behind it there is a lot of things to explain before that uh, uh, wealth mm. and if you see somebody that have went through the uh, uh, educational system and became a professor or a doctor or whatever he came through uh, challenges and he those challenges that he faced make him a great man at the end of the day mm. these challenges that we are facing it is only the challenges that we're going to face and become uh, 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 became what we have been praying and hopeful our dreams will come true only when we excel through the difficulties time you we cannot openly or, or upon a time be someone a successful country the american country went through civil war mm. for almost 120 to 180 years i know you know that very well a lot of difficulties have to went through a ua us a uk mm. uh, a france before Belgium, they, before they, they are where they are, are. Mm. so it's something that we our leaders supposed to do 40 years back by now we will not going to be here this uh, niger of a thing uh, they are not our men they will never be it's just like you having a a, a boy or a girl say uh, in your front you buy a skirt for her mm. you buy a food you give her food you give her education you give her <laughs> and she will start talking to you that she want to fight you how will she find somebody can you buy the finger that be uh, yeah, fit you you can't so what we are talking about these difficulties will be some uh, for uh, for a meanwhile and that is why he they are trying to create a way to a uh, cushion to mm. softening these difficulties by creating a, 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 a palliative by creating some a, a money incentives into some civil servants and by having a dcng type of bosses mm. that will going to come with a very low uh, 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 profiles uh, 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 payment mm. whereby instead of paying ten thousand you're going to pay four thousand yeah. and at least even if before you are paying three thousand i one thousand was added mm. you can able to uh, take care yeah. of that the uh, uh, in terms of agriculture mm. the fertilizer that you are buying a uh, per bag thirty thousand might come down to fifteen thousand or uh, twelve thousand it is affordable the government will take care of the 
the uh, remaining, the school fees, the tuition fees, the universities, uh, uh, government are pay, have, uh, are pay, will going to pay for the tuition fees. So you pay for the other things that remain, mm -hmm. in the, uh, which belong to the university. All those type of things, creation of uh, over 150,000 hectares for rice, creation of over 50,000 uh, hectares for cassava, okay. 50,000 for wheat, all these things for cushion, the, mm -hmm. these difficulties we are getting ourselves into. We cannot deny it. Everybody knows it. He even told you he knew it. And he, I and you knows that we are in difficulties, but we must believe that we don't have any other country than Nigeria. Let us come together and salvage our country. All right, let's take this call before we round up on the program. Good morning, Elder Zion. Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you doing today? I do. I'm getting well. Good to hear from you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very happy to see you people doing the work that God called you to do for Nigeria. I've been praying for you, though I've not been well. I've been sick all the way. Yes. And God has started touching me. Yes, so by yes, God's yes. grace, mm -hmm. yes, I've been fully recovered. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I thank you. I greet you, Mr. Hassan. Thank also. you. For his work, his analysis is content. There is something I want us to understand in this uh, major group uh, problem or something. You see, he said he who goes to equity should go with the clean hands. When we are quarreling the group brought us in nature, there must be a reason. Why they took over government, mm. democratic elected government, to overthrow it? There must be a reason. So Nigeria, fronting for Equus to stage a war in that country, to some of us who are old enough to understand the history of Nigeria and the media, mm. we are saying, it is not proper yet. All right. Thank you so much. Nigeria Azar. government, please excuse me. Nigeria government should exercise patience. Okay. After all, what is happening in DJ is still happening in Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria is no different. We are facing the same problem. So they should exercise patience with those boys. Negotiate. Use diplomacy mm. for them to see that the world has gone out of view. All right, thank That's you so democracy. much. Thank you, please. Greet everybody for me, yo. Okay, then we're here. And thank, thank you, you so much. Get well soon. <laughs> All right, with that, I think it's time to draw the curtain today on the press. Thank you so much for joining us today on the program. It's always amazing to Thank have you, you on the much. program. All right, with that, we draw the curtain today on the press. Coming to you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan Television. Till I come your way next time, I am Sandra Agu. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs>